Dude, you gotta know by now, it takes way more strength to be an archer. Sorry, man, there's just, there's no way, there's no way you convince me an archer can outstrength a heavy dual wielding melee character. I'm talking like raw strength, like brute strength, not endurance. If it takes to draw a bow back, I bet 20 bucks any archer could beat any swordsman in an arm wrestling competition. All right, let's put it to a test. Let's do this. Strength test, endurance test. Are you guys trying to do a bit? Because you're a terrible actor, just stick to breaking stuff. Welcome back everybody. We are here bare chest today, just for a little bit. It's not gonna be the whole video, but the reason being is today's video is gonna be all about strength and the strength required for a bow versus a sword. Soon coming release of Dragon's Dogma 2 and a recent video released by Matt. This time the argument is over whether this requires more strength or dexterity or whether this requires more strength or dexterity. And I'll put that here um, and I'll reference it through the video because it's a great video. If you haven't watched it already, check him out. If you don't follow him, please do. He's a great historian, a great expert in a lot of weaponry. Just a, just a good guy all around, so check him out. But talk about the difference between strength required for archery versus a melee weapon or a heavy sword. So we're gonna dive into that a little bit now. I'm gonna give my own little two cents on this and uh, see where it ends up. So the way I wanna try to break this down is using only the best possible science. The reason I say science is because it's completely anecdotal. It's gonna be just based off my experience versus how strenuous it feels for me, my heart rate, elevation, everything like that. But I think it'll be a good barometer as far as testing the strength differences required between a heavy, heavy bow and a super heavy melee weapon. And then later on in the video, as it goes on, I'm gonna be adding some armor and things as well to kind of see what that has as far as the strength and endurance difference that comes wearing full plate with a melee weapon, but other things like that. So just off the bat here, This is my 165 pound war bow. You've seen a few people probably try and pull it before. I did a video with administrative results where he gave it a good effort. 165 pounds. All right, watch this. Okay, yeah, no. Um, I did a little podcast with a fitness guy who owns his own gym, he's a fitness pro, and he tried to pull it as well. of them could really get much of a draw on the bow. So you can see there's obviously just by those videos a raw strength component that is required for this. So what we got starting here first is our basically base stats starting archer guy. There's no armor. This is just out of the gate. You get off the cart. Hey, you, you're finally awake. And it's like, I want to be an archer. So you get a tunic and you're ready to go. We have the 165 pound bow here and I have 14 arrows. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna set my heart rate monitor here and I wanna see what my heart rate does during the duration of that time. And also just how quickly I start to fatigue because the 165 is getting close to the max threshold I can do. So I wanna see what that does to the draw and just the difference in the strength that is required to do that versus when I start to move to the melee. And when I have the melee, we're gonna go from there and check the same stats also and see what's just physically more taxing. Oh, you know what? <laughs> they actually have an archery tab on here. Let's click that. Archery, two, one, go. Okay, starting to get hard. Whoa. One minute in. Heart rate is 141. Oh, that was bad. You 
can see those draws are starting to get a lot shorter. Man, that happened fast. Oh man. Okay, two minutes and 30 seconds. I'll stop it there. Okay, so starting out for the archery, that was two minutes and 34 seconds, an average heart rate of 138 beats per minute. But more so than that, you could really see the stress of the body after like the first three shots. And that's why I wanna do the 165, because that's like getting close to the max I can do. And just someone who's done it for a long time, you can really see how much that impacts the body. It's literally like trying to do a max bench over a period of two and a half minutes. And so it just breaks you down really, really quickly. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be two minutes again, and this is gonna be just kind of like light, heavy attacks, AB smashing it. I'm not gonna do the, um, the forms. It's just gonna be a real strong hit. So I'm gonna try and do some destruction, make it fun to watch. Two and a half minutes with a heavy weapon. This is the base starting armor for a melee character. So it appears they don't have um, a Warhammer setting on this. So I'm just gonna do archery again because I figured that'll keep it fair as far as calories and heart rate. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'll tell you what, endurance wise, that was brutal. My average heart rate was 166 beats per minute. Now I didn't fatigue in the same way. The strikes were still strong. I could still get the momentum going again. This wasn't a skill-based exercise where I was trying to counter. It was just a, it was just a pure brute force. See why the endurance skill matters so much more for a melee character than an archer because that's what you're going to be pulling from is that deep well of endurance and stamina also <laughs> check this out i gotta hammer those back this has been through the ringer but it's still my favorite thing not next to the bow sorry i didn't i didn't mean it i didn't mean it but the bow is my favorite uh, the shield fair this was a 16 gauge steel shield and it's just <laughs> just obliterated all right so melee test number two this don't hate me too much there's basically two things very wrong with this one the gorget usually goes under the breastplate but if i'm out here on my own it's almost impossible to set up that way the second thing is the left side isn't strapped very well because again that's almost impossible for me to do on my own so it's not fit perfectly right now but the same concept is there. So I'm gonna do the melee test again in full armor for two and a half minutes and see how my heart rate changes, if anything, with wearing this and how much of a difference that's gonna have on the strength stats required. So there's no way to do this and not look silly. Here we go.
one eternity later. For sure you noticed a few things there. One is that the armor, it was made for me by Arm Street, so it is custom built for me, but it's based off the measurements I sent them and everything. So it's got a little bit of give in there. It's not perfect, um, but it's basically better than most off the shelf stuff. It's 16 gauge to 14 gauge cold roll. So it's really sturdy, uh, but it is quite heavy. So it's probably about 50 pounds, I'd say somewhere around there. Um, the second thing is my heart rate spiked immediately, even though I was moving much, much slower. You could see my speed and dexterity was down substantially and I was gassing out way quicker. And a large part of that is because when you have that mask on, you have limited oxygen intake. You wouldn't think it makes a big difference when you're moving with something that much over your face, even if there's air holes, you're gonna, you're gonna start to have trouble breathing and it's gonna cause your heart rate to skyrocket. So to me, what that really means again, is that it's going to be that frontline person, even if they're wielding a large two-handed weapon, it's less about the fatigue that comes from wielding weapon because that mace is about nine pounds, much, much more about the actual endurance you have to continue to fight, less about that raw strength. Now, for the sake of fairness, I just want to kind of see how, uh, how I can draw in this thing here. But, oh, hold on, let's try it again. Okay, so it's doable, but that's not a full draw. So that's making it kind of hard to get that back. Um, you can do it, but Brigandine is, is way, way better. If it's actually strapped on, I think it would be better. I just don't have any squires out here to help me right now, unfortunately. I'm doing the best I can is just a poor night with maybe just like a few acres and no, no squires underneath them. Okay, a little better. Just have to kind of learn how to do it. Still a little short, but it's getting there. I kind of semi set out on this video as quasi serious, quasi joking. But um, after doing that stuff, I, I'm willing to 100% throw my hat in the ring and say archery is 100% more strength based than melee. You know, obviously when you get to the games like Dark Souls and Demon Souls and even Berserk, the show where you have those really large unwieldy weapons, it's going to make a huge difference. You're going to need some sort of crazy strength to do that but in the real world i would say just in the same way like brock lesnar doesn't have the same power in his punch necessarily as someone who's faster and more powerful let's say conor mcgregor he's small but he's fast he's lithe he can move quickly so the people that are small and quick and explosive like that are going to have more power and that's going to be much more required in the melee whereas a heavy bow like this it's going to be something that's much more analogous to something that a strong man does. It's a very specific movement that you have to train your body for in order to do. And it takes an inordinate amount of strength to bring it back in full. And that's going to be something that is much more strength based. So I, again, I feel like I said, you know, science anecdotally, what have you, but just doing those little tests and everything really gave me more of like a, all right, yeah, I'll go for it 100%. You know, you need that endurance for the melee, but you need pure strength for archery. So archery is, in my opinion, 100% strength-based. And that is my conclusive answer. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Ha, huh, geez, I'm tired today. My arms are all shaky. Now, obviously that is simply one person's take, my take. Uh, based on what I did anecdotally, I felt like it was pretty conclusive in my head. But I'm sure there's tons of stuff that I missed and tons of parameters that would have been better to include for one thing or the other. So anything that I missed, let me know. I'd be happy to hear it. I'd love to try and improve the channel any way that I can. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. For more videos of simple destruction, check it out here. Or if you just want gaming humor and nerdy stuff, feel free to check out these videos over here. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'm going to go take a nap.